Hey everyone, so for this project we're going to be building um, a calculator in JavaScript and we're going to make the calculator in HTML and CSS. Uh, so here I have, so first off to get started, what you'll do is you'll create a folder called calculator and then within that you'll create an index.html file, um, a scripts folder which will contain a calc.js file and a static folder which will contain a style.css uh, file. So these are both files. Uh, so I have some code here in the index.html file, and it's basically um, a doc type. We set up the HTML page. Our code will go in between body, and then in the head we have a link to the um, style sheet where we'll style our calculator, and then a link to the calc.js file where we'll um, add the code to make our calculator actually work. So I'll paste this code in um, somewhere on this page, probably below the video. Uh, so this is the template to get. This is a template for you to get started. Uh, okay, so in this video, I'll just set up the contents for how the calculator will look, and we'll set up some basic CSS uh, styles. So to get started, let's actually put everything in a div, and we'll call it container, which will contain our whole uh, calculator. So then, within the calculator, we'll want to have two more divs. So we'll split up the actual output of the calculator and the um, uh, options, the buttons. So we'll actually make this an unordered list and within here we'll have some list elements. So we'll give this unordered list an ID of buttons. So this is where um, our calculator will have its buttons and then this will give it an ID of answer. Mm. Actually, let's give it a more generic output. And then within the output, we'll have two things. We'll have a clear button and an answer field where um, the answer will go. So whatever the calculator um, evaluates the, the expression to be, this is where the answer will go. Uh, okay, so let's give this a span of clear, and this will be the span button. This will be the clear button, sorry, and we'll represent it with a span, and we'll give it uh, just a C for now. And then, so I'm going kind of fast here, but um, you can just copy the code, and you can pause the video to um, slow it down a bit, but I'm just doing this quickly so you can see something on the, um, on the screen. So, and here we'll have the answer. So, here we have the output, which will contain the clear button and the answer field, and then we'll have some buttons here. So the buttons will be, uh, let's just get them on the screen real quick. So if we have something like one, and then two and three. Uh, so we have nothing in the CSS file so far, nothing in calc. So you can see here I have a calculator folder, and then these are the files that I described. So now if we open the index.html uh, file, we have this. So we actually get, by default, we get some styles because some browsers implement their own default styles. So I'll also paste this link in um, on this page. So if you go to this link, you can copy this CSS reset code. So you'll copy this code and I'll paste the link on this page somewhere. And you'll actually post uh, paste this link in your styles, style.css. And then if you reload, everything should be gone. So now you have no styles on this page. Okay, so to envision this calculator, what we're gonna want is something like a clear button, and then an output, and then below this calculator, so this is just a diagram of how it'll look, we'll want the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. And then we'll also want some symbols uh, to manip um, some operators. So multiply, divide, Let's finish this, seven, eight, nine. Maybe we'll want a minus, uh, we'll want a period for a decimal point, and then zero, uh, an equal symbol, and then what am I missing, a plus. So th these are all the things we'll want in our calculator. So let's actually add these in. So let's get rid of this and we'll start, oops. Okay, so you can just follow along and then you'll see it output it on your screen. So 9, uh, period, 
I'll just copy and paste this a few times. So nine period equals plus uh, six, seven, eight. And you'll see why I'm doing it this way in a moment. Uh, six, seven, eight minus three, four. I'm just copy and pasting. So three, four, five. And then we want a multiplication and then zero, we're almost done. Zero, one, zero, one two, divide. Okay, and so now if we get rid of this, okay, so now we have, if we look at this page, we actually have all the symbols that we need for the calculator. We have the clear, uh, this will be a clear button. Um, the output has uh, no content in it yet, and then the buttons are represented with uh, these list elements. So we see we have nine, so we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have an equal symbol and then plus, minus, uh, multiply, and divide. So in the next video, I'll uh, structure this into an actual calculator. It won't have many styles, but at least you'll get to see uh, how the calculator will look.